What's up, guys? This is Simon from Shanghai again. Welcome to another every Chinese video.、Uh, now, last week I have talked about why many Chinese people are pretty happy about the current state of the country.、Uh, so, if you haven't watched that video, I definitely recommend you to go check that one first. Then you will have an idea why they are satisfied with the current situation.、Uh, anyway, for the last three decades, we have taken huge leaps in many aspects, such as the economy. Public infrastructure, personal income, education, and many many other areas. Compared to 30 years ago, most people's lives in general indeed are much better than before. Now, some of you guys from outside of China may be jealous of what we have achieved today. You may be like, "Whoa, take a look at China! You guys are amazing. We should learn from you guys, and we will take a great leap as well." But before you start adopting our model, I have to tell you that this model also comes with a price. And I would like to ask you whether you are willing to pay that price in order to truly embrace the prosperity of the economy. Now, let me tell you a story. Once upon a time,、uh, there is a country called T. T for Teddy. Okay. Now, T is a democratic country where people have rights to vote for the president. They can also speak out their mind freely, and they are able to access every international website from the rest of the world.、Uh, however, there are some problems for T. Because every new government policy, such as tax reform, base salary adjustment, and gun regulation, has to be approved by the Congress before coming into effect, the whole process usually takes a very long time, which greatly affects the efficiency of the government. And there are two parties in the country; they don't like each other so much. So every time one of them roll out a proposal, such as subway development or highway renovation, the other one just would simply object it. The country's economy is still rising, but it is not very fast. People are not very happy about the current system. So one day, some super smart scientists in country T have developed a new AI system. They claim the AI system is super super intelligent and rational, and it can replace the current government because it is able to make the most correct decision for the country.、Uh, they say that if the country was managed by the AI. They have created. It will greatly increase the efficiency of the government by eliminating all those meaningless fights between two parties. The scientists predict that after several years, the economy will take off and surpass all neighboring countries, and average income will also have a bump. People could also expect to have much better public infrastructure within the recent future, such as the latest high-speed railway system and wider and smoother highway system. However, in order to achieve that efficiency, The AI will need to take full control of the country. People will need to give up their rights of voting because after the AI start taking over, there is no more election. All decision and policy will be made by the AI. Nevertheless, the AI is super rational and altruistic. It can make decision without any bias, and it will never take advantage of its absolute power for its own benefits. Most importantly. Unlike average human beings who are usually very short-sighted, the AI is super smart. It is able to analyze all the data it has, so it can see a big picture of the current situation, and it can also predict what will happen in the future, which allows it to make the most optimal decision for the country. Other than that,、uh, AI will also screen all website and block those one that it thinks may cause harm to the country. It will also check all movies, TV shows, music. Newspaper, social media, and textbook to make sure all content is aligned with the values that it is promoting, so people can have the exact ideologies that AI want them to have, which avoids any waste of time and resource caused by having different ideas. Because you guys know, when people have different ideas, people will start arguing and fighting, which will decrease the efficiency of governing. So the AI knows that if we could shape everyone's mind and make everyone think the same. Then we can develop much faster, right? And AI will also decide what you can post on the internet. Although freedom of speech is important, sometimes it will only cause chaos and instability. So in order to uphold the order and stability of the country, the AI will analyze every single post on your social media, and it will decide which one to keep and which one to be deleted.、Uh, another thing you need to be aware of is that. Once you choose the AI, there's no going back because after AI taking control,、uh, the AI will always choose the best decision for the country. So if you regret your decision and you want to go back to the old system, the AI won't allow you to do this because it considers its existence is beneficial for the country in the long run. So the proposal of getting rid of it、uh, contradicts to the AI's value system. 
So the proposal will definitely be rejected by itself. After the AI taking over, average people will be freed from involving in politics. Uh, the AI will be in charge of making all the policy and the decision uh, so that average people can spend all their time and energy on their jobs, uh, families, and themselves. Uh, the AI will also help them to make some decisions such as what kind of news they can read, what kind of movie and TV show they can watch, and what kind of message they can post on the internet. But as long as you follow the rule, uh, you will be perfectly fine. Uh, you can still enjoy the rest of the freedom. The AI won't bother you. However, the AI cannot guarantee that everyone will be happy because sometimes it will have to sacrifice someone's benefits for the greater good. But the majority of people can expect to have a better living with a higher salary, better public infrastructure, and many other benefits coming from a booming economy. Now, imagine if you are an average citizen in the country T and it's your turn to make the decision, what will you do? Uh, now, let's just say that everything that scientists have said is true. Uh, after the AI taking over, most people will have a higher salary, a bigger and nicer apartment to live, a more advanced traffic system, and a whole lot more. And let's assume that AI is never going to break because of some virus and AI will never become self-aware which may make it focus on its own sake instead of the well-being of the society. Uh, as long as you follow the rule and policy set by the AI, you will also guarantee to have a better living. So. Are you willing to give up some of your rights and let the AI take over so it can maximize the efficiency of the government, which helps your country to achieve economic miracle? Or you think those rights are too precious to lose, so you would rather live in the current state with a mediocre economy? Uh, what do you guys think? Please let me know under the comment section. Uh, for me, uh, I don't think there is a correct answer. Uh, personally, I'm in a pickle, guys. Uh, I want economic growth. I want all those latest public infrastructure. And I also enjoy having a raise of the salary. I mean, seriously, who doesn't like more money, right? But I also don't want to lose my rights to make decisions. Uh, even I know that AI probably can make better decisions than me because it is smarter and can see much more than I do. Uh, but I mean, what if I personally don't like the future it chooses for me? Uh, what if once we reach a certain economic level that I think is enough and I want to take a break But it wants to keep going. What if our kids don't like it, but we have already lost the rights to make changes So they have to stick what we have today uh, I don't know guys. Uh, what do you guys think? I guess maybe I'm just too greedy Alright guys, I think that's it for today's video. Uh, if you like my video, please hit the thumbs up button. If you want more content about China from every Chinese dude, I recommend you to subscribe to my channel. Uh, once again, thank you so much for all the love and support. And I will catch you on the next one, okay? Peace. Thank you for sticking to the end. I recently opened my Patreon page. If you'd like to see more content or simply want to support this channel, you could go check it out. On my Patreon, I will post more China-related videos and some content about my personal life. Okay guys, I will see you there. Bye!